Hey guys, it's John P. with Geek Beat. We're here in the Livid Lobster Studios, and of course, what is interesting is this gigantic package we got today. Look at this thing. It is monstrous. It's humongous. And the reason it's so big is because that, my friends, is a new HP, HP work group sized printer. If you look right here, Dave, they tell you essentially don't try and lift it up. Turn this thing on its side to unbox it and make sure the HP symbol is pointing up. So if you look, here's the HP symbol over here. So I guess we'll just turn it on that, we'll turn it this way. This is riveting. Yes, riveting I know. Riveting television here. All right. Power cords and things falling out of the package. Look at that. Oh, okay. Hotkeys. It's some kind of a adhesive label. Oh, I wonder if that's for this thing's yes. keyboard. Yes, that that's got to be. That must be what it is. And, oh, and there's different languages. Now I get it. There's a oh, whole bunch of keyboards. Right, for playing Minecraft. Uh, for different things or whatever. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> get this thing out. Ingenious. How about that? Yeah. This is the M575C. Now, here's where it gets sexy, okay? Look at this. I swear to you, this screen on this thing looks like a friggin' iPad, okay? Uh, yeah. I mean, that is like, that's got to be an eight inch, uh, at least a seven inch screen. And look at maybe, this, there's a keyboard. Maybe we can play Minecraft on it. <laughs> How amazing is that? It's like a computer built right into this thing. Without getting it out of its um, foam down here, uh, you can see all the laser toner cartridges here, black, blue, well, cyan, cyan magenta, magenta, yellow, yeah. and black. Come yeah, there on. you go, there you go. Awesome. You know how these printers get packed. Oh, this looks like an input tray for maybe uh, manual individual, yeah, yeah, manual feed. No, oh, oh, no, that's your that's your stapler. Oh, that's a stapler. Yes, that's awesome. yes. I love it when they have staplers built into them. Here we go. So it's got the flatbed for the scanning and stuff right here. Oh, look, that screen folds all the way forward. Cool. That's nice. Right there. That's how you clear the uh, impending paper jam. Exactly. Right here? No. Not no, here. not on the stapler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> that's got to be 100 pounds. Here, know. hang on a sec. I want to actually witness a hernia there happening. Go. Yeah, that's about, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm guessing that's... <laughs> I'm guessing it's 90 to 100 pounds. It's heavy. Did you hear that popping sound? Yeah, that's. I probably shouldn't have picked it up right there. <laughs> uh, maybe this is the paper tray up here on the front. Yeah, this says number two, so I'm guessing. I have a sneaky suspicion this is the paper tray. There you go. That is paper tray number two. Where is paper tray number one? May maybe that's the uh, the manual feed. Oh yeah, number Would one. Would be is the one. All right, so as you can see, can uh, you I, add paper trays to this like you could with the uh, old laser jets? You know I where you could you, stack them. Yeah, I think you can get an extra one on the bottom. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I think you can. So we'll get this thing moved over, plugged in, played with. We'll video all the goodies on. I, I can't believe this has a computer built into the printer. So you guys stay tuned for the full review. And check out the rest of our videos over on geekbeat.tv or youtube.com forward slash geekbeat.tv. See you later.